Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Art of Dev Chunks. This video is in reference to a comment that I have received on one of my videos, Hello World in C++. And it's going to define how can you run a C++ or let's say any other program within the Sublime Text Editor itself. So I hope uh, it can simplify the process. There are a few basic steps that you need to follow or rather say a guideline that you can use in the exact way which would help you to set up any kind of build system or program or script that you want to run on Sublime Text. So the first thing you need to make sure of is if you're using a Mac or Windows let's say so you need to make sure that the compiler that C++ uses you should have that installed. So what we can do is you can just type G++ dash dash version in your terminal after opening it and press the enter or the return key and you should see some message that tells you that the C++ compiler is installed or the G++ compiler is I already have the 4.2.1 version installed on my system. Uh, I'll make sure or tell you that if you don't have that installed and you type this command g++ dash dash version on your Mac, uh, I'm sure it's going to pop up with something which says that the tools are not installed or the command line developer tools are not installed, would you like to install it? And when you click on install, accept the agreement and something, it's going to search for the development tools in the app store and according to the internet speed that you're using, it's going to install it on your system. So, the first point is you need to make sure these compilers are installed. If you're using Windows, then what you need to make sure of is that the G++ command or the compiler command is added to your path variables. Uh, you can check out other videos to know how to add it to your path variables. If you have the admin rights or the administrator access, you can do it simply using the Windows settings. So uh, once you have that installed, the next thing what you need to do is open Sublime Text. And I'm not going to write a simple bit of code. I already have the same file that I used in the last tutorial. I'm just going to drag it to my Sublime Text. And here we have the file hello.cpp with exactly the same code I used in my Hello World program. So we have this code which will include I stream using namespace. We have function and we're just outputting or displaying this to the terminal. So now what we need to do is we go to this tools menu here in the menu bar and we have this build system as one of the options. All you need to do is select C++ because if you're running a C++ program you have other options and you can add new build systems as well. So right now all we need is C++. So you select C++ here and then you press Command B on Mac and Control V probably work on Windows itself. So Command B would build this file. And what happens when we build this file is this hello executable is created, which is very similar, or rather say exactly the same thing which we did in the previous tutorial or the hello world program using the terminal. So it created this executable. We can directly drag it to the terminal, and it's going to work exactly the same way. Or we could use that as this tutorial is about running it in Sublime Text. So you could use that as well. So now you have built the file using Command B. Now you can use Command Shift B to run this file. You press Command Shift B. It is going to execute the program here, and you can see the output hello world printed here along with the time that it took. So I guess the video is quite explanatory here itself. One of the things I would like to tell you more is that if this doesn't work for you, one of the things you can do is you go to the menu preferences and you have this browse packages option here. You go to the browse packages option, whichever build system you're trying to configure, like we are trying to configure C, we go to the C library here or the folder rather, and we have the C sublime build file. All you can do is just open this file in Sublime Text itself and you see this. 
So here you have this C G plus plus written within the double inverted quotes. The map of Unix environments ensure this is going to work if you have this command added to your user share bin or local bin folders. It is running on your terminal and going to work fine without any extra tweaking. But in case if you're on Windows and it's not working, all you need to do is just copy paste the exact path of your C++ compiler here within these codes with the double slashes of course because they get stripped. So for like example in, in Windows your uh, system is installed at C drive add program files and let's say at mingw G plus plus dot exe for example. So what you're going to do is put these as double slashes here. You need to replace it with double slashes because they are going to get stripped. And you need to copy this exact address from here. You need to copy this and paste it here instead of G plus plus. And I think that is going Things are not added to your car. Uh, right now, we don't need to make any changes to this as it is working for us. So, it turns out. so I hope that this video would be good enough for you to understand how to run any program or build system in Sublime Text. I'd like to thank you for all your support. Please do like and share my videos, subscribe to the channel, and please comment if you have any issues in the comment section below. Thank you.